Don't throw out your slow computer just yet. Try these free fixes to make your laptop faster. Whether it happens gradually over time or all of a sudden, trying to work with a slow computer can be seriously frustrating. Even if you're fairly diligent with the maintenance of your laptop or PC, it's surprising how quickly things slow down. If you're running Windows 10, 11, or 7 and asking yourself why is my laptop so slow, this video is for you. Thankfully, you don't have to trade in your computer just yet. In fact, you can take several steps to give it a bit of a boost in the performance department. With some simple decluttering and a few more technical operations, even the slowest computer can return to its old self. So in this video, we bring you some neat hacks which can speed up Windows 10 considerably. On that note, let's jump to the steps and learn how to boost Windows 10 performance. Number 1. Disable Startup Programs Startup programs are basically applications that start running the moment you turn on your Windows 10 PC. Even if you have not opened them manually, these programs run in the background and sit in your system tray. These apps eat away at your computer resources and slow down Windows significantly. The biggest problem with these startup programs is that they make your Windows 10 PC slow to boot as there are too many apps gobbling up your PC resources. To stop these programs from automatically running when your computer starts, right-click on the taskbar and open Task Manager. Switch to the Startup tab and check for unnecessary apps with a higher impact on the system. You can do so by clicking on the Startup Impact label. Next, right-click on Applications and click on Disable. Do this for every unnecessary app. This will speed up Windows 10 every time you turn on your PC. Over time, with the installation of new programs, fresh apps are added to this list. So keep checking the Startup tab periodically and disable unnecessary apps right away. Number 2. Disable Background Apps Background apps are Windows apps that run in the background to receive notifications and updates. While messaging and email apps may require background sync, Apps like Candy Crush and Calculator don't need it at all. These apps continuously run in the background and make the computer slow, besides draining the battery. So to drastically speed up Windows 10, first disable the background apps. Open Windows Settings and click on Privacy. Here, scroll down and open the Background Apps tab from the left pane. On the top, disable the Let Apps Run in the Background option altogether. If you wish to customize the settings per app, you can do so as well. Number 3. Block apps after reboot. To make Windows 10 faster, you must block apps from automatically restarting after reboot. It is different from background and startup apps. Windows 10 allows some apps to restart their services and launch the last session so the apps are ready at launch. However, it can have a detrimental effect on the performance of your Windows 10 laptop or desktop. Press the Windows key once and search for Restart Apps. Now, open Restart Apps after signing in. Here, simply disable the toggle for Restart Apps and that's it. Number 4. Remove Junk Files You should periodically clean up junk files on your PC to speed up Windows 10. These files stay on the hard drive and eat up space even though they have no utility in the functioning of the operating system. Having said that, keep in mind, do not install third-party programs to remove junk files. Most of those programs slow down the PC. Instead, I would recommend you to use the built-in Windows 10 tool to clean up your PC. Press the Windows key once and search for Storage. Now, open Storage Settings. Here, click on Temporary Files. After that, simply click on Remove Files. Number 5. Adjust Visual Effects If you don't have a powerful GPU, then it's better to disable visual effects. It will offload tasks from the CPU and help boost Windows 10 performance. Press the Windows key once and search for System Settings. Now, open View Advanced System Settings. Here, click on Settings under the Performance section. Finally, click on Adjust for Best Performance and then apply the changes. Number 6. Use GPU for Intensive Programs If you have a powerful GPU, then you can force programs to take advantage of the GPU instead of the CPU. There might be apps that don't use it often and rely on the CPU to carry out tasks. By forcing these apps to use the GPU, the CPU on your Windows 10 PC will be available for other tasks and the performance will get much better. Press the Windows key once and type GPU. Now, open Graphics Settings. 
Here, click on the app that you want to run through the GPU. After that, click on Options and choose High Performance, which will use the dedicated GPU. If an app is not available on the list, then you can add new apps from the Browse button. Number 7. Disable Game Mode If you don't play games on your PC, it's better to disable Xbox Game Mode on Windows 10. You might not be aware, but it takes up a huge chunk of resources due to the availability of instant screen, video, and audio capturing. Open the Start menu and search for Game Mode. Now, open Game Mode Settings. On the next page, disable the toggle for Game Mode. After that, go to Xbox Game Bar and Capture Settings and disable all of the toggles and checkboxes. Number 9. Uninstall Multiple Antivirus Programs It is a bad idea to install multiple antivirus programs to secure your PC. An antivirus checks file integrity in the background, which in turn eats disk usage. Having multiple antiviruses will further make your computer slow. Installing an antivirus on Windows 10 is avoidable as the operating system comes with Windows Defender pre-installed. And frankly, it's pretty good and reliable. Number 9. Change Power Plan Open Settings and click on System. Now click on Power and Sleep on the left pane. After that, click on Additional Power Settings on the extreme right pane. In the Control Panel window, choose High Performance as your power plan. That's it. You should now see a performance jump on your Windows 10 PC. Number 10. Disable Delivery Optimization To provide faster updates, Windows offers a feature called Delivery Optimization. It uses computers on the local network to transfer chunks of Windows update files to the nearby PC. If you keep it turned on, then your PC may be used as a node to connect with other PC for sending update files. While it's a good effort by Microsoft, it comes at the cost of performance deterioration. Also, it eats your bandwidth bringing down the overall performance of your PC. Open Settings and then click on Update and Security. Here, click on Advanced Options. Now, scroll down and click on Delivery Optimization. Finally, turn off the toggle below Allow Download from Other PCs. Number 11. Change Privacy Settings Open Settings and click on Privacy. Now, go to the Diagnostics and Feedback tab and change the diagnostic data to basic. It will prevent your PC from sending huge amounts of data in the background. There are many options under the Privacy Settings. We recommend you go through each menu and decide if you want to hand over your data to Microsoft. If not, disable it then and there. It will stop constant telemetry in the background and may offload some resources from your PC, hence boosting the Windows 10 performance. Number 12. Debload Windows 10 Of late, Windows has become incredibly bloated with useless apps and services. These apps take up crucial random access memory, processing power, and disk space. It significantly slows down the system, leaving you with a laggy mess. The sad part is that you can't even uninstall these apps through the control panel. So, we are using administrator privilege and execution policy as a workaround to remove such apps and services. First up, download the Windows 10 Debloader zip file from the GitHub page. Click on the Clone or Download button and then click on Download Zip. Extract the zip file and open it. You will find three major files, but right-click on the Windows 10 Debloader GUI file and select Run with PowerShell. On the first run, it will ask if you want to grant execution policy permission to the script. Type Y and hit Enter to allow the PowerShell script to run. Now Windows 10 Debloader window will open. Here, click on Remove All Bloatware. It will start removing such apps and services. The process will take some time to complete so keep patience. Also, you will be prompted with many dialogues during the process to reconfirm your action. So keep a check on your PC during the process. After the debloading process is complete, simply restart your PC. Now Windows 10 will become completely bloat-free without unnecessary apps you will notice a remarkable boost in your Windows 10 computer's performance. Apart from this, I will also recommend you to click on Disable Telemetry to cut off all telemetry services in the background. This will significantly increase your computer speed running Windows 10. Number 13. Keep a check on background processes. More often, some unknown processes keep running in the background and cause your Windows 10 PC to slow down. So make a habit to check the background process through the task manager whenever you feel the PC is not performing well. You can click on each label to sort the processes in descending order. 
If you find some rogue process eating up your disk or CPU to an unusual degree, then end the process right away. Just right-click on the process and click on End Task. And if some unnecessary app is causing the spike then consider uninstalling it altogether from the control panel. This way you will always be in control of your PC and it will eventually speed up your Windows 10 PC. Well, that ends our exhaustive list of various ways to speed up Windows 10. We started with some basics and have gone through the advanced steps as well. If you want to completely speed up Windows 10 without any bloatware, go through all the points mentioned in this video. In case you are not a pro user, you can skip debloating Windows 10 as it requires some technical knowledge of Windows 10. So, which pointers did you try out and what effect have you noticed in your computer's speed? Share your experience in the comments below.